As we all try to pitch in during these difficult times, a Nebraska web developer is working to design a cheaper ventilator so that the United States never faces a shortage of those machines again. Liliana Pearson shares his story. Max McCoy is designing a ventilator at home, taking a few hours each night after his son is asleep to improve his design. I can't stand the thought that um, if I did nothing, it resulted in more people dying. McCoy is the kind of person who feels called to action when tragedy strikes. Early in the pandemic, it weighed on him that he might not be doing enough to help. I was having a lot of trouble sleeping at night. <laughs> um, because I felt like I wasn't doing enough um, to help what was going on in the world. A web developer for Creighton University by day, his hobby is programming robots. In the near future, his hobby could be saving lives. I wanted to make it accessible and buildable by basically anybody who needed access to a ventilator. His design uses everyday items like air mattress inflators. I mean, it's complex, um, but Really, all it's doing is pushing and pulling air. He'll need approved equipment to actually produce medical grade ventilators, but he's hoping to prove that these pieces of machinery can be built at a fraction of the price. His would come with a price tag of a couple hundred bucks compared to tens of thousands. I, I think it's close to being released. At least the designs are. McCoy isn't sure what he's going to do once he's finished. There's a competition for ventilator designs out of Canada that offers hundreds of thousands of dollars for a more economic design. But he's not doing this for the money. At the end of the day, I'm just going to release the programming and the design as an open source project for people to contribute to and make better. For McCoy, this pandemic has shown him a problem, and he's refusing to stand by without trying to find a solution. Now, McCoy built his prototypes right there in his own home using equipment that he can get off of Amazon as well as the use of a 3D printer.